Hey, hey, everybody. So, um, one of the most common things I get asked about, at least here at the church, is how do I route my P16s uh, from the Behringer wing here? So, just super quick, uh, the easiest way to do this is once you have all your channels routed and everything, all your buses and everything done, you have everything set the way you want, you have to come up with 16 uh, outputs that you need to come back to the P16s. So on the the uh, the wing, those are always going to be outputs on the ASA, um, whichever side you have your P16 on. If it's you know channel A, channel B, channel C, um, ours is on A. So I'm going to come into routing, and I'm going to come into outputs, and from the left hand side, I'm going to choose. ASA because that's where my P16 is at. So if you notice down here at the bottom, the last 16 channels, which is 33 through 48, that will always be routed to your P16s, assuming that you're using the Midas or Behringer stage boxes. Uh, so 33 through 48 will be 1 through 16 on the P16s. So 33 is 1, 34 is 2, 35 is 3, so on and so forth. So you can see I've got mine routed here, but the only caveat to this is that I cannot send a tap point from an individual channel to the P16. Uh, what that means is that I can only send the raw signal from the channel to the P16. So you'll notice here I've actually got a lot of buses set up. So like I've got the drums bust together, I've got all the vocals bust together because all of our vocals are using uh, wireless in-ears that are plugged up to buses up here so it's not connected to the P16. So we won't talk about that today. But for all the other channels, they're all individual. So what I did is I came up with a nice little chart. So this is where everything is always going to be. Keys, bass, acoustic, starting at 38. Uh, that's where they're all going to be. And they have some spare channels set up for Every once in a while we'll have a violin, or maybe every once in a while we'll have something special going on that we want to put on these other channels here. So this is the way we've got set up. So now all I have to do is match this to this. So let's just take this for example. Today I have the acoustic guitar on 40, which is where it's always going to be on the P16, but I have it plugged up to A4 today. So if you look here, the acoustic guitar channel 40 should now be A4. But if you look at 40, it's actually set to B14. So I'm going to set this here for now. So all you do is you have to first unlock it. It's very important you unlock it. And then you hit channel 40, which is going to be the acoustic guitar. And you need to go over to your sources. It's going to come in on A4 today, so A4. So now it's set to A4, uh, but also I've switched the electric guitar it is 41, but today it's coming in on B14. So now I have to come over here to 41, hit 41, and switch it to B14. So that is how you do routing for the P16s. Um, it, it's a little cumbersome at times, but it's, it, uh, it still works, uh, especially since this does not have alternate out anymore. Um, so the drums and the vocals are all coming through a bus. Um, so I actually have EQ on all those channels coming in, so the band doesn't have to really EQ those. The MDs are also all bus to one channel, including my talkback mic from front of house. Um, the click is an individual channel, so they have no uh, no EQ, no compression, no nothing on that. And then you have all the other instruments are just raw. So the band has to actively mix those in their P16s now. Um, again, this only applies for the P16 channels. The vocals are actually on the buses here. So you see my vocals are all set up here uh, for my four main vocals. And then I also have a, a couple of headphone outputs on stage, which um, we're using one of them today for our drummer. Uh, then we have two extra ones here for two not so good IEMs that still work if we ever do need to use those. Um, so that is how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to uh, leave me a comment or shoot me an email. I'll put my email in the description. 
And until next time, we'll see you. Bye.